Hey YouTube, what's up? Robert Ayala. Hope you guys are all doing smashing. And if you're watching this because you are preparing for the NREMT basic, or even paramedic, or intermediate, or advanced EMT, whatever we're calling it these days, awesome. I'm sure you will do well. So I'll give you a virtual pat on the back. So anyway, I just thought I'd help you with your uh, test prep. Let me do a few practice questions, explain the logic behind them. So, um, yeah, let's let's just do a couple. You would expect the exit wound from a gunshot to be a larger than the entrance, b smaller than the entrance, c the same size as the entrance. Or D, you would not expect to see an exit wound. So, is it larger, smaller, same size, or no exit wound? So the answer is A, typically the exit wound is going to be larger than its entry wound. So, typically it will be larger. Sometimes you don't see um, an exit wound. Um, yeah, typical. I mean, especially if it's like in the torso area, sometimes it just gets all lodged in there. Um, but typically, you'll it'll, you'll see one that'll be larger than the exit wound. Although, you know, in uh, here where I'm at in New Orleans, it's you know, a lot of times people get shot more than once, so you'll have more than one exit wound. Okay, let's do uh, another question together. Okay. You arrive on the scene of a 12-year-old female who is seizing. The school nurse tells you that this is the patient's third seizure and the patient has not regained consciousness between seizures. This is known as A. Aura B. Post-ictal C. Epilepsy or D. Status epilepticus so, third seizure, they have not regained consciousness in between. What is this called? If you said D, status epilepticus, you are correct. So, the aura, I'll explain these different terms. Aura is some people, some people who, have, who seize frequently can kind of feel when it's coming on. They'll have like this aura, this brain activity before the seizure. And when I used to work in dispatch, they'd be like, oh, I think I'm, I'm going to be catching a seizure soon. That's what that is. A uh, post is after the seizure, they're kind of groggy, kind of not sure what's going on, kind of in that sleepy phase, kind of usually still making some noises, but they're not actually still seizing. Epilepsy, we know that's, you know, disease that makes you seize often, and status epilepticus is that continual seizure. So, anyway, thanks for watching my video. Check out my audio study guide in the comments, and um, hope you pass the test. I am sure you will. Robert out.